Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm just going to start by sectioning off my hair. And I do like probably four of them just to get my hair out the way. And now that we have our sections, I'm just going to start detangling that conditioner in a spray bottle with a little bit of water. And that just helps smooth out my hair so we can apply the different products. This growth milk makes my hair very manageable and that's why I'm just finger detangling for the moment but I'm also going to use my denim brush and with this style you just want to make sure you detangle all the way else it's not going to come out the way you want it so that's what I'm doing here and I'm just going to brush it through and it's going to make it as smooth as possible and that's what we're going for so after it's all straightened out I'm going to get my Ah, uh, what's the product? I don't know. I'm put I'm put listing everything below, so don't worry. But I'm running my hands through it and I think this is some type of gel. And this is gonna help my style stay, but then I also put a cream on there. A curling cream and that's by Eden. I know that one, but I'm still gonna list it guys. And with putting these three products together, I'm just smoothing it out throughout throughout my hair and then I'm gonna brush one final time and then we can start twisting soon. And oh my gosh, guys, this is going to give you the best um, outcome simply because it's water-based and that's the best thing. Living in Florida is very hot, so my style doesn't stay if I just use um, things that aren't water-based. So that's why I mix these products together. So I'm, gonna, I'm showing you guys how I achieve my twist. And really, you just want to twist and twirl really tight, but not tight from your root, else it's going to hurt. But just twisting it and holding it taut so when you start to twist it around it's going to form the band to not on its own rather than you just doing all of the work so I'm going to turn so you guys can see it a bit we'll tilt my head I guess <laughs> and yeah just going around 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 like a corkscrew just around and it's really going to stick itself under the um the knot so you really don't have to use bobby pins. I use for some of them. Some of them I use my bobby pins. But for most of them I don't. Because it's supposed to just stay if you're doing it right. So now I showed you guys. I'm just going to speed through the rest of it. And it's pretty easy you know. After I'm done smoothing my edges, I tie it down and then use my satin head wrap. And that's the only thing that makes my edges stay. So in the morning, when I take it off, it lays a bit flatter than the day before. But yeah, that's the only thing that works. And I use coconut oil and I rub it on my hands. And that's just going to eliminate frizz when you're taking down your hair. And that's going to give you the best results. Now, when you're taking down the hair, you want to just remove any pins if you put pins. I put pins in certain little areas that I didn't want to roll too tight. And you just want to unscrew it in the opposite direction. And I just coat the little curl with the oil. I don't know. It just makes it less frizzy, I guess, from when I'm actually separating it. And you want to be very careful. And that's another reason why I don't do wet bantu knots because it don't dry all the way in the morning and you won't get the best 
curl I've tried it I've been doing this for a while and that's just dry well dry wet with a with the spray bottle gives me the best curl and definition so that's why I do it that way and then unloosen it is the best part it's the easiest part it's not that much work when you start to unloose it now, you're going to grab hold the curl. I'm just rubbing the oil through my scalp. I don't know. I'm really extra. <laughs> you want to unloose it and just be really careful. Now, I might look like I'm just pulling them apart. That's really because I like I don't like first day hair. So you want to just twist it back around the, the weight, the curl, so you can get the curl back. I really don't do that. I just, I just pull them apart, actually. But you want to just be more careful than I am because I don't like flat hair and that's first day hair to me I like big voluminous curls and that's why I just fluff it out extra extra hard you know so it's your preference so that's what I'm doing here just unloosing 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 you really don't have to fluff as much as I do but I just continue and I go until I achieve the volume that I want well, my hair is my hair already has that volume, but you know what I mean. Just detangle it as much to your preference, and this is how I like it. And it's as you can see, it's just growing and it's looking better by the second. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay, this is basically the finished look. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.